I'm at Food Ingredients Asia, speaking with Habo de Vere of Parabel. Habo, what's Parabel exhibiting this week at Food Ingredients Asia? Thank you, uh, Jules. Uh, we're exhibiting Lenting Complete uh, here at the, the Barents uh, booth in, um, in Bangkok. Our product, uh, a very innovative plant-based protein made from uh, water lentils or duckweed, kainam as they say here in, uh, in, in, in Thailand. And here I can show you some of the, the product in its uh, natural form. And so what, what can the ingredient be used for? What's, what are you considering your customers, what kind of applications? Okay, uh, so, f so first of all, it, I can tell you something about the product itself. Um, it contains around 45% protein, um, uh, fibers, ash, fats. Uh, it, it's a complete uh, source of protein. It has all the essential amino acids. It's non-GMO. We're sustainable, which is always also important to say. And um, we are dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and there are no allergens. So that's our product. Obviously, with these, there's an increased consumer demand for clean label products. You mentioned without dairy, there's more vegan consumers and flexitarian lifestyles. Yeah. How much of a how are you responding to this trend and how, how is it important for you? Now, I think first of all you need to have a, a very competitive product. Uh, we have. Uh, we are, we are the, the plant-based protein with the highest amino acid uh, content uh, profile. Um, if you compare us with, with uh, soy, pea, spirulina, spirulina, chlorella or hemp, our amino acid profile is, is higher. It's comparable with whey, but again, whey is uh, not plant-based. So um, we have a competitive product and we're also continuously innovating. We will have in Q1 2020 a few different products, new products. One is very interesting, it's a water lentil milk. Um, we're in, in the process of, of exactly finding out how we're going to bring it to market. We're uh, working together with uh, potential partners. So that's a very early stage right now, but soon more to, more to come. Um, furthermore, next year there will be a uh, protein uh, hydrolysis, so a 65% protein hydrolysis. It will be neutral colored, uh, neutral taste, and that will be used for sports nutrition, uh, meat replacements, uh, it can be in, in uh, any protein shakes, and smoothies, name it. So basically our current product can be used already in um, nutraceuticals, in various food and beverage applications, like, um, like smoothies, like drinks, like cake, tortilla chips for example. Um, but also in uh, wellness or, or, or medical even, if you extract the right um, elements. The new products will be for a wider array of uh, applications even, because there will be a neutral color. Uh, we've seen that people love the green color, but for some applications it's, an, uh, it's a disadvantage. So that's why we come with a uh, hydrolysis, which is neutral color at 65%. The second product will be, let's say, the Lentin Complete, as is, uh, but the next generation, 2.0. It will be exactly the same, except the fact that there will be no uh, insoluble fibers, meaning that we have a soluble green superfood with a protein percentage of around 45%. Um, and the third, the extracted fibers we're going to sell on itself as well, which will mean that uh, we have basically three new to the market products plus the water lentil milk is full. Okay, so a range of innovations. Exactly. With, and with the um, water lentil milk yeah. and the, the other ingredients, what's the, the taste profile of the water lentil? If, if your clients, your, your customers are using them in, in final products or just in the water lentil milk, what, how does it add taste and what? That's. Uh, it tastes always very subjective, right? And at, at the moment, um, when I ask 10 people, eight or nine will say it's like much alike. Mm. The thing with the new product, um, we are still in the finalization phase of the product. So to give you a an, 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 an spot on answer at this moment is, is, is difficult for me. Um, the green superfood, I expect that exactly the same as, as our current product, which is a very 
yeah, matcha-like green tea uh, taste. Okay. And how scalable is the water lentil technology? You've got a facility in Florida right now. So how, how scalable is it to grow and feed to expand in the future? Well, that's an excellent question. Um, besides being sustainable, you, always want, you also want to be scalable. Um, we are extremely scalable. Uh, we need a lot of land, but uh, we have um, partners of ours who have a lot of land, so that's not an issue for us in Florida. It will take about nine months in order to build a new farm. And as you know, uh, water lentils are the fastest growing plant in the world. So the moment we start growing, in two, three weeks, we have all the um, hydroponic um, uh, the ponds filled with, um, with water lentils. And from that moment, we can harvest every day. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a daily harvest, which is unique, uh, very low volatility. So nine to 12 months is um, every farm. Okay, and one final question going forward, where do you see the ingredients being used in the future? In what kind of sectors? Because obviously we're seeing a lot in terms of plant-based foods and dairy yeah. alternatives. Correct. Going forward, are there any other trends you anticipate? Uh, um, obviously we are uh, riding the wave of, of plant-based foods. So um, I expect our products to be, uh, our, uh, to be uh, used for uh, meat analogs, meat replacers, and also the, the innovation is coming. I mean, it will be not only meat, it will be it, uh, uh, fish and chicken, name it, moving forward. So that's one, sports nutrition, the protein shakes. Um, I expect as well, more and more are probably used as a natural colorant, for example. Um, so yeah, again, a very wide array of, um, of products. Okay, well we look forward to finding out more. Have a, thanks Thank for joining you. me. Yeah.